Hello there, everybody. My name is Chatterack, and welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's 4. We're on to the sixth night, and I... I'm not sure what to expect out of this. I'm really not, because... I kind of... I, I don't know. Like, I, I know what this night constitutes. Like, I, I ended up looking up some information about the night, just to try to get a feel for it. Fuck, where was that? Was that here? I'm not sure. Oh, that was over here then. I think I'm already dead. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> I couldn't hear where it was. <laughs> Alright, this time we'll be more prepared. I'm ready for you. Alright, that was Chica's side. Yeah, get out of here, Chica. Oh my gosh, the little, the little Freddy's are... Already at three! Get out of here. Oh, this is going to be very active. Okay. We're going to have to be super careful. Oh, Foxy was trying to get in. That's going to be important keeping him out. Ooh. Rid of him. Bonnie. Ooh. Fuck. <laughs> I could have sworn I heard the breathing. <sighs> yeah, get, get out of here, Chica. No one's got time for your cupcake bogus bullshit. <laughs> I am out of rhythm. <laughs> oh my gosh, Foxy. Ah, no time for this. No one's at the door yet. Throwing me off now. I think that Bonnie. Oh, there he is. Alright. Got it here with the Freddies. It's gonna be important keeping Foxy out for as long as I can. Nice, Chica. Ooh, that was Chica for sure! Alright. Get out of here, Bonnie. Go tie your bow tie in some knot. Get out of here, Chica. You've got a cake in the fridge. Oh, shit. I had to say something. <laughs> it always gets me. Come on. Fuck, 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 fuck. The Freddies. They're incredibly fast in this. Bonnie's here, I know. Yep, there he is. <laughs> Alright. I think Chica might be here, too. Yes, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh my gosh, there's a lot going on. Fucking. Oh, I'm dead. This is Bonnie. 
I just missed the breathing. Oh my god, there's a lot going on. <laughs> oh no. Okay, we're good. I thought we were in trouble. We're good. Gotta get Foxy. Just hold the door down. I hear you, Chica. Come on, come on. Bonnie. Okay, yeah, get out of here. I hear you guys. All right. Foxy. <laughs> There's so much going on. That really took me off guard. Alright, Chica. Foxy, go back to being a little plush plush. Good. Where is everybody? I thought I heard it there. Come on. Ooh. She was a trying to jam jam her cupcake in my slam slam. I gotta go get the... Uh... I think Bonnie might be trying to get in. No. Chica. No. Alright, Foxy. Now Chica's trying to get in. Oh. What? Ooh! Foxy? Fuck. Deal with you in a second, I gotta deal with Bon Bon. Wait, what was that? Oh! Golden Freddy! Fuck, it's Golden Freddy! Oh fuck, it switched, switched on us. Ooh, fuck. I wasn't expecting to switch. Oh god. Fuck me. This is not what I was expecting. I mean, oh, I heard this night was different from the others, but I didn't know it switched. Is that the same door? No, other door. No! What? Where'd he go? Oh my god. Come on. Where is he? 
He hasn't left. Oh, there you go. No! <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, that was so scary. I think he went to the other side again. See, I can do the double trick out too. Okay, I'm so glad that, that worked because I wasn't sure if he was still at the door or if he was behind me or in the closet because of that laugh at the last second. Oh my gosh. Throwing Golden Freddy in there really threw everything. Oh. Uh, can, can you hear me? I don't know if you can hear me. I'm sorry. You're broken. We are still your friends. Do you still believe that? I'm still here. I will put you back together. Okay. So that was night six. Night six. Uh, we got away with Night 6 because I think mainly in part of Golden Freddy. I think if I had had to deal with Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy, and Freddy for the rest of the night, that would have been very difficult. Uh, I don't, I'm not saying that makes it any easier. I lucked out because he never did any of his laughing bogus tricks. But as far as what the scene goes with the child, there are, I, I, I have looked I, I decided to brush up on my theories like I, I, I did with the last couple of games once the story is now that the story is incredibly insanely difficult to understand because again I keep in the back of my mind that Scott has said that no one has figured out his story and I a part of me thinks it's up that, that, that that's what Scott wants and and what I mean by that is like when, when people make a story like this, you know, it, it can be interpreted in so many different ways. I think the authors and writers of these stories always want to, to keep it so that no one does figure out the story. Just because then, it kind of just leaves the lore open to run wild and rampant. Um, now, my obviously the idea there is that... Uh, like it, I think it's kind of puts in question whether or not the child lives or dies. But it's clear to it. It's clear to me that the the, th the thing is that all the dolls were his friends. All the all the dolls of the animatronics. So it would only make sense that you know they're there with him in his time of need because this is post him being bit. Which I'm not. Uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure if that's during the. The bite of 87. I'm not so sure that that's what that is. Um, so it's interesting to try to figure it out uh, like with, with the details that we have. But I do have one theory that I've been working on that I, I want to solidify for the next episode when we... Because um, now that we've beat the sixth night, we've unlocked some things. And what I mean by unlock some things is we've unlocked Nightmare Mode. So Nightmare Mode will start up next time. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Click the annotation for more Five Nights at Freddy's. Look down in the description below for some playlists of other horror games that I've played. So thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye!